हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज मुमीशा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एल जी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मेसी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन डिटेल अबाउट फ्यूज्ड हिट्रोसाइक्लिक रिंग दैट इज खनाले दैट इज फर्स्ट डिस्कस अबाउट इट्स स्ट्रक्चर खनाले एज सच खनाले इज फ्यूज्ड रिंग एंड इन दिस फ्यूज रिंग वी हैव टू रिंग वन इज benzene ring that is fused with another six membered heterocyclic ring with one nitrogen atom that is pyridine so quinoline is also known as benzopyridine see in this structure if we omit this nitrogen so that becomes our naphthalene ring so if we add that nitrogen in this ring nitrogen as a hetero atom we called aza and that nitrogen at a first position so it is One is a naphthalene. So we have two more synonyms for quinoline. That is benzopyridine or one is a naphthalene. Numbering I have already shown in the structure. Uh, numbering starts from hetero atom nitrogen, then in a anti-clockwise direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. The next properties of pyrid quinoline. first question comes this quinoline is aromatic or not it's a heterocyclic cyclic ring so question come it is aromatic or not for any compound to become aromatic it has to follow hercules rules three basic condition first cyclic second planarity and third 4n+2 pi electron rule sulfuric cyclic and all the atoms which involves in this cyclic structure they all are sp2 hybridized that means they all are planar then third for 4n+2 pi electron the total numbers of pi electron within this structure is 10 because we have five pi electron in this structure so total pi electron is 10 4n+2 equals to 10 and n becomes integer so when we can say it follows hercules rule and it is aromatic second quinoline as such it is weakly basic the next section is synthesis of quinoline a most important section of this ring scrub quinoline synthesis that may ask you as a short note quinoline ring is formed by reacting aniline with glycerol in presence of sulfuric acid and mild oxidizing agent here nitrobenzene or in presence of ferrous sulfate let us first discuss uh, role of each reagent in this reaction aniline and glycerol they are the reacting molecule sulfuric acid can act as a catalyst and oxi- as a oxidizing agent we are using nitrobenzene this reaction is exothermic reaction and sometimes it tends to be violent so to decrease the violence ferrous sulfide is added so in this reaction aniline in this color reacts with glycerol within this glycerol part this purple color shaded portion that is going to be added over this aniline and that forms quinoline ring how most important part mechanism of this reaction so first step glycerol that reacts in presence of sulfuric acid so sulfuric acid undergo in presence of sulfuric acid this glycerol molecule undergo dehydration water molecule removes and we get this acrolein part that is most important part because this acrolein is then going to be added over aniline how aniline nitrogen have a lone pair of electron with that lone pair that nitrogen is added over this carbon right so you are increasing valency over that carbon so this bond electron that is shifted between this two carbon if this bond electron shifted between this two carbon you are increasing valency over this carbon and so the bond electron between this carbon and oxygen that is shifted to oxygen oxygen gets negative and this nitrogen gets positive because nitrogen utilizes its lone pair so positive and oxygen gets this bond electron so that gets 
negative okay so we get this intermediate then next in this structure nitrogen positive charge a nitrogen is attached with two hydrogen so one of the hydrogen leaves as a h plus giving back its lone pair to nitrogen so neutralizes positive charge over nitrogen and that positive charge or this h plus that is going to attach with this o minus and form oh we get this enol form then next part this bond between this o and h that bond electron shifted to oxygen right and so you are increasing valency over this carbon so this bond electron that is shifted to this carbon and this carbon gets negative charge this h which is leave as a h plus that is going to attach with this c minus and form ch2 right so we get this keto form ultimately this is known as keto enol trans tautomerism right so this keto form then undergo protonation that means this reaction is carried out in presence of sulfuric acid so that h plus that sulfuric acid provides h plus this oxygen with its lone pair that is going to attach with this h plus right and we get this oh plus oxygen being more electronegative atom do not resist positive charge over it for longer period of time so this bond electron that is shifted to oxygen that means oxygen gets its lone pair back and this positive charge that is shifted to this carbon so that this bends uh, this bond electrons of benzene ring that is going to means this carbon that shares this bond electron with this carbon positive charge carbon so ultimately that bond electron shared between this two carbon so this carbon forms bond with this positive charge carbon so deficiency develops over this carbon and so nitrogen with its lone pair that can form double bond with this carbon so ultimately positive deficiency of this carbon that is shifted to nitrogen means nitrogen gets or develops positive charge see we get this intermediate positive charge nitrogen as we all aware about over each carbon of benzene we have hydrogen so this hydrogen leaves as a h plus giving this bond electron back to this benzene ring and so you are increasing valency over this carbon if you form double bond here this carbon gets phi valency so this bond electron again shifted to nitrogen means nitrogen gets its lone pair back and we get this intermediate this hydroxyl and here we have ch2 oh and h leaves as a water molecule and we get this intermediate that means one two dihydroquinolic and that undergo oxidation by removal of h2 h from this nitrogen h from this carbon in presence of nitrobenzene and we get a quinoline ring most important part of synthesis next dobler minan synthesis aniline ring when reacts with alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound carbonyl compounds a near carbon alpha and beta alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds when reacts with aniline in presence of acid we get quinoline ring uh, for rest of the preparation just remember starting material and product no need to discuss or learn the mechanism in detail then third one is friedlander synthesis in this uh there is a reaction between two amino benzaldehyde with ketones right two amino benzaldehyde with ketone initially this nh2 group fuses with this ketone a common reaction of carbonyl compounds with amine derivatives and we have this fuse ring quinoline so that is all about preparation of quinolines the next electrophilic substitution reaction here we have two ring so a question come where the electrophilic substitution reaction is carried out uh, between this benzene 
operidin ring which is more electron prone or which is having more electron over that ring ultimately it's a fuse ring a total 10 electron forms pi cloud over both the ring but again which one uh, electrons are pulled towards benzene ring more and so electrophilic substitution reaction is carried out over benzene ring and over fifth and eighth position we get mixture like ortho para right so it, um, ring is carried oh uh, sorry electrophilic substitution reaction is carried out over benzene ring so all the reagents are same as benzene means if we carried out nitration nitrating reagents are same as in case of benzene like quinoline reacts in presence of hno3 and h2so4 nitrating agent we get 5 nitro and 8 nitro quinoline for bromination quinoline reacts with bromine in presence of aluminum chloride we get 5 bromo and 8 bromo quinolines for sulfonation same sulfonating agents are same sulfuric acid or oleum we get 5 quinoline sulfonic acid and 8 quinoline sulfonic acid in short all the electrophilic substitution reaction nitration bromination sulfonation uh, reacting molecules are same as benzene ring next electrophilic addition reaction to nitrogen right protonation first right so proton when this quinoline ring reacts with hcl uh, h plus is added over nitrogen means nitrogen reacts with its lone pair of electron and we get quinazolium salt next under the same electrophilic addition that is n alkylation alkyl group is added over nitrogen right if this quinoline ring react with methyl iodide we get n methyl sorry one methyl quinolinium iodide salt third reduction reaction reduction means addition of hydrogen right reduction can be carried out in uh, presence of so many reducing agent like lithium aluminum hydride platinum oxide hydrogen or platinum or palladium and we get 1 2 3 4 tetra hydroquinoline but if we have a uh, quinoline ring and that reduces in presence of hydrogen platinum and in presence of 12 normal hydrochloric acid instead of pyridine ring to be saturated this benzene ring is saturated and that will form 5 6 7 8 8 tetra hydroquinoline oxidation if quinoline ring is oxidized in presence of alkaline KMnO4 alkaline potassium permanganate we get pyridine 2 3 dicarboxylic acid this ring breaks right and we get 2 3 dicarboxylic acid and that undergo decarboxylation and we get nicotinic acid the next nucleophilic substitution reaction right a famous reaction that is chichibabin reaction if quinoline react ring reacts with soda lime at a higher temperature we produces two amino quinoline which is chichibabin reaction last that is medicinally used compound which is having this quinoline ring a most famous group of compound that is quinoline rings sorry quinoline derivatives as a anti malarial agent quinine chloroquine primaquine pamaquine all are anti malarial agents which possess which possesses this quinoline ring then a uh, name itself indicate quinoline antibiotics ciprofloxacin ofloxacin and all and last that is 8 hydroxy quinoline that can act as a topical antiseptic thank you if you have any doubt you can comment below this lecture hope you enjoy this lecture thank you